The Great Barrier Reef is located in the coral sea off the coast of Greenland, Australia. It is the largest living structure on the planet. It is the world's largest coral reef stretching 2,300 kilometers along the Queen, Queensland coastline and covers an area of 344,400 square kilometers. It is half the size of Texas or the size of 70 million football fields. The Great Barrier Reef is first began growing 18 million years ago and is so large that it is visible from outer space. It is considered one of the seven national wonders of the world. The Great Barrier Reef is a beautiful and special place on Earth. There is a beauty both above and below the water. Underwater you find the world's largest collection of coral, nearly 400 different types. There are over 1,500 species of fish, more than 200 types of birds, and 20 different types of reptiles including sea turtles and giant clams that live to be 120 years old. There are many threats to the Great Barrier. Some of these threats are climate change, which leads to chloral bleaching, poor water qualities from land runoff, coastal development, and fishing. From 1985 through 2012, there was a 50% decline in coral in the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef supports 2,195 known plant species, but only three are endemic to the islands, a type of mangrove, seagrass, and seaweed. Most of the plants in the Great Barrier Reef can be found in other parts of the world. There are 216 species of birds in the Great Barrier Reef. One that is threatened and endemic is the gray-headed albatross. The largest bird that can weigh 10 pounds and feeds on the open water. It feeds mainly on squid and illegal fishing has harmed its habitat. Another endangered species is the scooty albatross. This is a smaller dark colored albatross. These birds live in colonies of about 50 to 60 other birds. Its population has shrunk by 75% in the last 90 years, mostly because of house cats that live on the islands that live on the Great Barrier Reef. Blue whales are an endangered endemic marine mammal in the Great Barrier Reef. They are considered the largest animal to ever exist. Adult males can weigh up to 270,000 pounds. The largest the longest blue whale ever recorded was 106 feet. Hunting has begun the biggest danger to these whales. They were too big to hunt until 1910. By the time it was illegal to hunt them in 1966, over 300,000 of them had been killed. The fin whale is another endangered marine animal from the Great Barrier Reef. It is the second largest whale next to the blue whale. Over 725,000 fin whales were killed in the southern hemisphere between 1905 and 1976. As of 1997, only 30, 38,000 survived. The most endangered creature in the Great Barrier Reef are the amphibians and reptiles. The Great Barrier Reef is home to six of the seven most endangered reptiles. All the different types of sea turtles. One of these is green sea turtles. Green sea turtles travel a great distance up to 1,600 miles to reach their spawning grounds. Green turtles mostly eat the seagrass in the ecosystem. It's actually very good for the seagrass because it only eats the top and not the roots. That allows it to grow healthier. The biggest risks to green sea turtles are humans who hunt them and pollute the waters. The endangered leatherback sea turtles is the largest of all sea turtles. The leatherback sea turtles get its name from its leather looking shell, which isn't hard at all. These ancient creatures have been around for 110 million years. Pollution is one of the greatest risks to leatherback sea turtles. Their bodies all can exert the pot pollution and make them sick. The eggs are also very likely to be dug up by predators, and the young turtles are also hunted. The biggest problem causing danger in the Great Barrier Reef is coral bleaching. In the last two years, almost 900 miles of coral bleaching has been bleached. Before this time, it only seemed to happen every 10 years. Bleaching happens when climate change makes the water hotter. The algae on the coral leaves turning the coral white. The coral will die without the algae. If the coral dies, then all the plants and animals that depend on the reef will eventually die too. One of the things scientists are doing to help the Great Barrier Reef is to work on super corals. These corals are made in lab and can be put in the reef. They can stand higher temperature water and bring algae back to the reef. The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority is in charge of protecting the Great Barrier Reef. They make sure people do not disturb the coral and the plants and the animals.